Hi everyone, my name is Dominic Arojado. I'm a web developer, and these are your guides, tips, and tricks to web development. And so for today's topic, it's all about MGML email framework. So what is MGML? It stands for Mailjet Markup Language. It's created by the team at Mailjet. This framework makes it easy and less painful to build responsive email templates. Now, coming from a background of building email templates with just regular HTML without using any tool or framework, the experience is not so great at all. You have to use and create a lot of table tags to construct your email template, and that's very hard to maintain. And you will face issues on different email platforms regarding responsiveness, especially on Outlook. Now, this framework helps to solve those issues, and the syntax is very simple. It doesn't feel like I'm learning an entirely new code, and yeah, I highly recommend it. If you're still not convinced, I added a link down in the description below so you can read more about MGML. But if you're already convinced and ready on board to get started, I'll now teach you how to set up your local development with MGML. All right. First, what you want to do is create the folder of your project. So you can do that by typing mkdir on your terminal and the project name. So you can use any name you want. I'm just going to use sample in my template. Uh, open this project on my Visual Studio Code. So you can pause this video if you haven't installed uh, Visual Studio Code. That's That will be the IDE that we'll be using. All right, so once you open the project, you want to initialize Yarn. So yeah, you can install Yarn as well and pause this video if you haven't. But once you do, you want to initialize so you can type Yarn in it, dash Y. So the dash Y over here will just set and use the default options. All right, so once it's done, it will generate a package.json file over here. Now you can install MGML library. So you can set install it on the dev dependency. So that's why we added the parameter dash D and type MGML. All right, once it's installed, let's create a source folder and then add our main file over here, which is index.mgml. So this is where our MGML code will be located at. All right, after you install that, after you do that, you can write the script. Basically, the script that will convert index.mgml to index.html because that's what we'll use when we send out emails. All right, so you can do that. You, let's name it uh, build. Using our MGML library, we set the location of the main file and then using the output parameter. And then where we want the generated file to be. So let's just put it on the same file as well. Reason being, we'll be adding our images over here as well. So if index MGML refers to these images, so as the index.html, HTML. All right, before we start writing code, I also want you to click on the extension tab over here and look for MGML. So I already have it installed here on my Visual Studio Code. So you can just press install if you haven't installed it. So remember, use the one that's officially created by MGML. So there's a couple of features of MGML extension. So one is to uh, beautify or prettyify your code. So before you can use that, you need to add some VS code config. So we, let's create the folder over here and create settings.json. And then a couple of things we need to write. So editor that save one format. So we want this to be true. So whenever we press save, you will format the code. And then next one is tab size. So tab size uh, is subjective. You can set it on your own uh, preference. For mine, I like it to be two. And then the last and most important one is the MGML. So all the MGML files, they will use a default formatter, which is uh, MGML. So that's all for this settings at JSON. 
we can start. It should be working as fine already. So let's test it out. Let's try. Another feature of MGML extension is the code snippets. So as you see here, I, when I start writing MGML, it suggests a couple of things. So once I press enter, it will generate the required code for me. So I can do, it, do this to all the MGML components such as body, section, column, and then lastly, the text. Now let's just put hello world over here. So imagine you have added space over here. Accidentally, when you press save, it will automatically format and beautify your code. So that's one of the features of MGML extension. So now if you have a bigger screen, you can actually use another feature of the extension, which is the preview mode. So you can see that there's this MJML logo over here. You, once you press that, it will show you the preview of your template. So if I set the background color over here, you see that it's automatically updated. And as I type my code, it will also update on the preview. So it's really pretty cool. So if you're already happy with this, you're pretty much done with the setup. But if you still prefer opening the template on a browser, yeah, you can continue watching. And what you need to do is install a couple of libraries. So one is a live server, then concurrently. So live server uh, creates a local server that serves the index.html. And then for concurrently, he lets me uh, run two scripts at the same time. So we'll get to see those in a bit. So first of all, I want to show you how the index HTML, uh, MGML is converted to HTML. You can just type yarn build. <clears throat> and it will generate the HTML file. So this is what this is the code that you need when you send out your emails. All right. So now that the two uh, libraries are installed, let's create the scripts for them. So first, what we want to do is the start script. So basically, we'll just copy the build script over here and just add watch. So what this script will do is basically, whenever we make changes to this MGML, you will automatically update the index.html for us. So we don't have to keep uh, running the build script. It will just do it for us. So let's test that out. Let's type yarn start and enter. And let's make uh, changes over here, hello world. So when I look at the HTML file, the text is already updated. So that's pretty cool. We know that the start is working fine. Now let's move on to the next script, which is server. So we will use live server, set the host to localhost, and open the directory called src. So whatever files is in here will basically be served by the live server. So let's test that out. Let's type yarn server, and it will automatically open the browser and serve the index.html. So cool, that's also working. So now we just need to run both of these script at the same time, and we will have a complete local development setup. So let's name this as dev script, basically use concurrently. And we need to wrap them in a double quote. So we need to escape and basically yarn start, and then yarn server. And that's it. Let's try it out, yarn dev. All right, so let's try making some changes. So hello world, hello to the other side. All right, and you automatically update the index.html, which is served by the local server. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You already completed your local development setup. So if you want to commit your changes, don't forget to create a git ignore. Basically, don't include modules and the src index.html because we can generate this with the build script 
and just the DS store, which is for Mac uh, Mac users. All right. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Bye.